You heard him stomp? That's what you did. You did something right. So as I'm coming, my level's coming down. I'm taking that shoulder over, pushing that shoulder down. I'm just blocking. I'm not pulling the ankle. Now when I go, I try to slam this knee forward. I almost like I'm trying to knee him in the nuts. I don't knee him in the nuts. But like I'm trying to because it closes the gap as I throw. Now I can just put that out and get five. That makes sense? Don't knee him in the nuts. Bang, hook. Again, what, what's wrong with this picture right now? Look, where my head? Yeah, my head position sucks. Forehead to the ear, I come up, snap, boom. He's leaving. He has a long way back. He's snapping up, but the option's there. That's why it's running a serious boom. This looks forward, I can do this. That looks forward, I can do that. Does that make sense? So it's here, boom. He stomps really hard. I'm closing the gap. Down, I'm just kind of pushing. I'm taking everything down. I'm pulling that. I'm pulling that. a lot of pressure on that shoulder. Pulling that shoulder down. Boom. Come up. Now if he tries a little roll through kick, I'm catching the crank. The mistake you're going to make is the foot's not going to be close enough, or it is, you even just leave your head. You're going to come here. You're going to, my head position is going to suck. Your head position is good. I'm going to reach here. Right? You see that? He's going to rip my head off. Run me over. Pancake me. All that fun stuff. Because I didn't take a shoulder to his ankle, shoulder to his knee. But you're going to work. I want to take this side to that side and get all this weight on that foot so he can't move. Does that make sense? If I do that, I don't really need to grab his ankle. It's called make a pick. But you don't really have to do it if you're doing it correct. Does that make sense? Uh, it's more for the to, to finish it off. If I don't and I get extended, you're going to get here. He's either going to be leading the other leg and you're trying to ankle pick and get extended. Or you're going to lead it correctly and you're not going to pull his shoulder down and you're going to get extended. If I'm reaching, it's Christmas morning for my opponent. He's getting five. Minimum. If he doesn't stick. Does that make sense? So you have to take the underhook shoulder to the ankle, to the knee. Does that make sense? So one more time. I'm in here. I snap. I circle step. Snap. Boom. He steps real heavy. I change the direction. I hear, I hear his foot smack. I know I'm good. I change just immediately. So even if I can't see it, I just start changing that direction. Does that make sense? See all that weight? He put his hand down. I know it's awesome. Awesome. Great. Here, boom. Throw. Slide my knee full. And this knee just a block. I want to try to catch five, two, you know, some backs. And I keep my height so that he's crawling forward. If I can come to the head here, if I've got to hold my head, come to the head. If not, he can kick through. Kick through. Get my two. Good work. Does that make sense? Any questions? Shoulder, knee. Circle step. If you hear it stall, that's where we want to be. All right. Start changing direction to it. Shoulder comes down. If I get a shoulder below his hips, I'm going to finish. Block the ankle, throw the underhook, pull the ankle up, finish the finish the Does that make sense? Any questions? You guys got it? One, two, three!